Welcome to today's edition of Public Health Minute with Bill Latimer. Many users of personal music devices, such as iPods, listen too long and too loud to their music, placing them at risk for noise-induced hearing loss. Dr. Sandra Levy, professor of speech, language, and hearing sciences at Lehman College, studies hearing loss. Sandra, tell us about your work. We did our research on the streets and on a college campus in New York City. We measured the loudness of music players of passers-by and asked them to report how long and frequently they listen. Over half of the 350 iPod users sampled listened too long and too loud, putting themselves at risk for noise-induced hearing loss. What's the next step? 44% of audiologists feel that noise-induced hearing loss is increasing among 8- to 12-year-old children, suggesting that early classroom programs are needed to promote hearing health. Public Health Minute is co-sponsored by the University of Florida College of Public Health and Health Professions and the Lehman College School of Health Sciences Human Services and Nursing at the City University of New York. I'm Bill Latimer.